<laughs> it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. The queen's never late, everyone else is simply early. Oh, yeah. Good morning everybody and welcome welcome back to my channel for today's video i am actually going to my first ever pride so i'm gonna start to get ready why we have a little bit of a chat i always get asked like oh have i been to pride like gay clubs things like that and i've actually never ever been to any of the above now i know some people might think this is me letting the team down but I don't know, like it's always been such a thing for me. I actually made a video of it on TikTok about this exact thing. Basically just being like, I've always grew up kind of hiding as a person. Like trying not to be flamboyant or trying not to be like camp or I don't know how to explain it. Even though it sounds bizarre because I literally do make up. That is genuinely my truth. Like I have always kind of hid it away to some extent. I get really like ah, about things like pride just because it's out of my comfort zone. I definitely think I should be going. I am actually going for work, which is kind of a good thing because it's forcing me to go when I wouldn't normally go. And then I get to kind of experience it. And then that way, maybe I'll realise it's actually not like what I thought it was. And maybe I'll, I'll actually genuinely enjoy it and want to go off my own accord, which I guess would be nice. I have no idea what I'll look like. I'm still the type of person that gets awkward in public when, like, not that I'm ever asked about it, but, like, say if someone's like to me and Billy, like, oh, like, what's your relation? Are you brothers? Are you friends? I still get so, like, uh, about it. Oh, yeah, I just don't know. Maybe that's why I've never been surprised. I did try to sum it up for everyone over on TikTok as best as I could and just basically, like, say why I've never been before and it is a lot to do with the fact that it's such like an open statement and I think around my friends and family I'm so truly like me and will be as camp as I want to be but in public I'm just like saying that I literally twerk everywhere. I try to like hide it away I guess as like a safety thing just so I feel safe. So yeah, enough rambling. I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll be back. So we have just arrived. Now we have to walk in the parade and then we're gonna go out. So we are coming to update you from Freya's bedroom. We have done the parade now. How was, did you find it? It was fun. It was different what I normally do at Pride, but it was fun. So we basically had to go with the collection floor and walk through. I think I got content, but probably not very much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's Pride. Well, I guess. So like really you've not seen like it. proper Pride. You've not even seen like Canal Street yet. Honestly, when you walk on there, it's just. Is it? Daniela and Callum were saying to me like it's genuinely such a nice night out because everyone's just so happy. Yeah, so. it's genuinely. I've been twice and it's the happiest thing I've ever done. Like I just love it. But we're gonna go to Canal Street for a few drinks, but then I'm gonna time out because it's we're being boring. We're going out tomorrow. I'm also going out. I know that's why right. we're going. We're actually going out for Cheyenne's birthday tomorrow. But yeah, it was lovely. In our fairness, we've just come to Freya and Byron's. Byron's actually at We Are Festival, a pretty little thing. And Anna, I was also meant to be there, but I did have work to do at Pride, so I ended up going to Pride. Freya's having like a pre-Pride. Pre-Pride party. She's been planning it all week. <laughs> so yeah, I guess there's one question left to ask. If I go to East End, does my birthday? If I go to Pride for bank holiday, would you come? But yeah, that's the situation. <laughs> We're just gonna have a few drinking games, have a couple of drinks, and then head out. We're heading to actual pride, so I will give you my honest rating one through ten as a pride virgin. It's on a pride virgin as well. What? Oh, I have never been to pride before, girls and boys. I thought you had. No, I haven't. I thought you were like the pre pride party. Yeah, like because really it's my first time going to pride. So, we're Pride Virgin, so we'll give you our run straight. And honestly, I'm expecting big things from Manchester. Me too, because I've heard a lot of good words. So, if so, it's not good, we'll see. Bye.
guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually up yesterday until 5 a.m. watching Hijack, so I am so tired. We're going to the Golden Arches. What did you get? What, what did you get? Uh, Rap of the day, yeah. Is that it? Billy's making me walk all the way over there. All the way over there, guys. Oh, we're gonna get one over in the drive through. Bless, right? Do you know what is the cutest thing ever? Oh, 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 oh it's a seatbelt. Oh, it's a seatbelt. <laughs> Callum and Daniela are literally texting me and ringing me. They can't hear me because they've got no signal. Being like, are you home? Are yeah, you but home? you understand why they do it. So cute. Callum, 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 stop. I think I've pulled my back. Pride was actually really fun. I'll, when I get back, go I'll speak to you. You're going to go with a different charm. Yeah. When I get back, I'll speak to you on first impressions of Pride and on its thoughts and feelings in regards to that. So guys, it is actually the next day now. I ended up coming home super early from Pride. I didn't feel the best and to be honest, I still don't feel great now. But I do need to get ready as we are actually going out for Cheyenne's birthday today. Look, I'm so excited about Cheyenne is literally one of my favourite people on the planet. As unwell as I feel, like I've gone back and forth, but I really cannot miss going out for her birthday, even if I'm not out for long. I was actually going to wear this blue jumper moment. I do absolutely love this jumper, but I'm wearing dark grey Levi jeans and the shoes that would help this go with the jeans I'm in Billy's car. And then the jeans that would go with this and allow me to wear any trainers are at Billy's house. So I think I'm gonna wear this black jumper behind me with the jeans, but we'll see when I'm ready. I do only have half an hour before I actually need to leave the house, but I'm sure I'll be fine. A little bit of a debrief on Pride. So it was actually a lovely experience and it is so nice to see everybody come together. I'm so sorry if I'm gonna be looking over this way. I went with Collection and I don't know if I said this yesterday. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But the thing about it that was nice is I, not I was forced to go because of course I wasn't forced to Go, but I had to go for work anyway and it wouldn't be somewhere I would typically have chose to go on. Um, I know I've covered all this but I'm glad that I had to go because I got to see what it's actually like. I did enjoy it. It was so lovely to walk in the parade. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be if that makes sense. I've never even seen a pride parade anything and the amount of people that turn out for it and show love and support is actually crazy so that was nice to see would i go again i actually would i think um the only thing that i really didn't rate was how busy it was and i wouldn't rate that in any situation whether it was at pride a festival anywhere when someone's overly busy i genuinely don't enjoy it but i'd say more than anything that was the downfall of the day is how busy it is which for some reason weirdly enough i didn't expect but pride is genuinely quite a big deal <laughs> Guys, I've met Daniela and Callum, and then we're gonna go to Liverpool. Cheyenne said they'd be ready for three, but are they ready? No. No, nope, so we've come early for nothing. We have come to tonight's water This Hello. has actually been open for a while in Liverpool, but I've actually not been yet. Cheyenne and the girls still aren't ready, even though they told us to come at three, so we're just waiting for them. My camera actually died last night and for some reason my Apple Pay stopped working so everything was just declining which is absolutely so fun but the funny thing is is one of the waiters brought my drink over and then it made like points for it and went oh declined and he went no it's actually declined so I was embarrassed I was having to send people money to buy me drinks which just isn't fun but Billy ended up coming meeting Matt and we went for some food and then just came back here to Bill's and chilled and this morning we've woke up I had some breakfast been 
watching Who Is Evan Carter on Netflix. It's actually really good. We're really getting into it. And now I'm just having a subway before we head back to mine because I need to edit this video off um, and get it up. I did say Sundays and Thursdays. It is Monday, but because it's bank holiday, I thought I'd be better off posting today anyway. Um, and yeah, that just meant I could also include Cheyenne's birthday night out. And that's the plan for the day. I'm going to do something with my sister later on for her birthday um, as we didn't end up doing anything for it, which was also yesterday. And chill. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching um, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.